Over the past several years, I have been using Python and the ELO ranking system in order to keep track of and rank all of the movies that I have ever watched. As of today, my movie list has 390 items on it. Now my code for performing the rankings is freely available on GitHub should you want to make your own ranking list for yourself, regardless of whether you do it for movies or songs or books or whatever. You can find it easily by going to my GitHub profile, which has it pinned to the top of the page. Now the way this works is that every movie has an ELO score, which represents the movie's skill level. Now when two movies go in a head-to-head -head matchup against each other, we can apply those two skill levels to a formula, which calculates the probability that each individual item is going to win the match. Then after the match is over, we can then adjust those individual scores based on who won the match. For example, take the movie Creed, which is ranked at position 158 on my list. If you were to take its ELO score, which is 1079, and put it up against Scream 5 from 2022, the system would believe that there is a 50-50 chance that either of these two movies would win because they both have the same ELO score. However, I think this score is a little too low for Creed. So if Creed was to play many of these movies that are actually above it, it would probably win and thus its ELO score would increase, thus moving its position up in the ranking list. Now, because I was asked, I wanna go over what the top 10 and bottom 10 movies on my list are. Now, remember, I am ranking based off of how likely I would be to recommend this movie should I go to a group movie night session. And whether a movie is very, very rewatchable for me or I would never wanna watch the movie again may not correlate with what you personally believe is a good or a bad movie. So my top 10 movies are Memento, Parasite, Saving Private Ryan, The Dark Knight, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, Hot Fuzz, Everything Everywhere All at Once, uh, Return of the King, Monty Python, The Holy Grail, and Train to Busan. And my bottom 10 movies are The Conjuring 3, Me Before You, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Happy Time Murders, The Boy in the Straight Pajamas, Quiet Place 2, Step Brothers, The Lie, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and Women in the Window. Just a note on The Boy in the Straight Pajamas, I understand that this is probably a pretty good movie, but I watched it when I was a child and this movie traumatized me, so I never want to watch it again in my life. And Step Brothers was previously the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. However, when I was doing some more ranking last night, I realized when Step Brothers went up against The Woman in the Window that this movie was actually so horrendously bad that I must actually give a win to Step Brothers.